If you've ever wondered how to add a slug in Final Cut Pro, let's talk about it. I'm a Final Cut editor, and in this video, I'll show you how to add and edit slugs, including three hacks to make one-click slugs. No, I'm not talking about the slow and sticky ones. And stay till the end when I show you how to quickly build custom reusable slugs. Vamanos! So Final Cut Pro doesn't have a slug built in. What they have instead is called a gap clip. And you can add it by pressing Alt W. Here it is. Now there's a couple caveats with this. First of all, it's not a black screen, it's transparent. If I put something underneath it, you're going to see it. You also can only put it in the primary timeline. I can't put it down below or above. I can't add effects to it like a normal clip, but I can add transitions to it. You can put gap clips or slugs at the beginning of a clip, like so, or at the end of a clip, like so. You can also put them right in the middle. Just move your playhead and press Alt-W. It splits the clip in half and then puts the slug or the gap clip in the middle. You can also add a gap clip by going up to Edit and then select Insert Generator and select Gap. In just a second, I'll show you how to duplicate, move, and edit these gap clips or slugs. You can also create slugs out of clips themselves. Select the clip, and then on your keyboard, press Shift, Delete, or Function, Delete. And it removes the video, but leaves behind a gap clip. On an external keyboard, just select the clip and press Delete. I can also replace this clip with a slug and move it to another part of my timeline. Select the position tool or just press the keyboard shortcut P and then click and drag that video clip to another part of your timeline. You'll notice it left behind a gap clip and it moved the video clip to another part. If you have a connected clip like this, hold down the tilde key while using the position tool and move your clip to another part in the timeline and the connected clip will stay in its position connected to the gap clip you just created. You can also select it and click Lift from Storyline, and it will leave a slug or a gap clip there, and now you can move this clip around. All right, to change the duration of a gap clip, select it, and just like another clip, you can trim the start and end of it by dragging, or you can select it and press Control D to bring up the duration timestamp and enter your new duration. Let's go for three, zero, zero for three seconds. And then press enter. You can also change the duration by selecting an edit point like the start and then pressing comma or period to add a frame or reduce a frame at a time. You can duplicate a slug by selecting it, pressing command C for copy, and then position your playhead and press Command V to paste it. I think a faster way is to option click and drag your gap clip and just move it where you want. And then I can create another one and drag it and move it in between these clips. Slugs are easy to move around. Just click it and then drag it to your new edit point. You can also nudge it one frame at a time, left or right, by pressing comma or period. However, any clips on the side will need to have available media in order to nudge it. So if I click here, I can see that I still have some media left in the original clip. And if we move over here, I don't have very much left over here on this one, so I'll only be able to move or nudge the gap clip that way just enough. All right, to delete a slug, you just press delete on your keyboard. If it's an external keyboard, use backspace. You can also delete just a section of your slug. Bring up the range selection tool or just press R and then select the part of the slug you want to delete and then press backspace or delete. And that leaves us with two slugs now. You ready to add a slug to your video project? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so other people will see this video. Thanks!
Many times you use a gap clip so that you can remember to do something later. Add a title or put a video clip in there that you don't have yet. And so one way to organize your gap clips is to use markers. Select your clip and press M. It adds this blue marker here. If I double click it, I have some options. I can name it. I can also change the type. I can change it to a to-do, and then I can mark it completed or not completed. I can also create a bookmark for DVDs, and then I can delete it. I can also just right click on it and have most of those options right here. I can cut it to move it and then paste it. I can copy it and paste it somewhere else. I can modify it, which brings up this menu. And of course I can change the type and delete it right there. I can also click on it and press Ctrl M to delete it. I can also select my clip and press Ctrl Shift M to delete all the markers. We can also add some more complex slugs called a placeholder. We can do that by going up to Edit, Insert Generator and selecting Placeholder or clicking Option Command W or going to the Titles Generators browser, go to Elements and click and drag this placeholder. Now this one can go above or below the timeline or in the timeline. This is a great placeholder if you need to shoot a scene and you haven't yet, but you want some more information in there. You can treat this just like any other clip and change its duration and position it in different parts of your timeline. Select the generator and open up the inspector and go to the generator inspector here. You can select the different shots you want. Maybe you want a close up here instead and it's just one person and it's a woman. You can also change the background. We can't see it here. We'll need to zoom out a little bit. Go to a long shot and let's add a few more people. So you can change the background as well. And we can also change the weather outside. It's a clear night. And you know what? They're actually inside. And then we can add some notes. We'll say house party scene. So this is a great option if you need more information in your slug than what a gap clip gives you. Let's create a slug with a custom color. Go to generators and go down to solids and click and drag custom into your timeline. This is a generator and we can change its color. Go to the inspector and select a different color. I can edit this just like any other clip, changing its duration and position in the timeline. What's cool about these is you can use many of them with different colors to coordinate the different tasks or scenes or videos that you want to insert. We'll duplicate it and add it over here and then we can just quickly change our color to something else and we know that we need to put this certain scene in here. Sweet, now you know how to add slugs in Final Cut Pro. I made another video I think you'll find helpful. It's called how to add picture-in-picture -picture effect in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.